uh, good morning everyone uh, so uh, we will begin with uh, the computer graphics programming class so uh, i hope i have posted in the google classroom and i asked you all to install the devc++ compiler in which we will be doing the computer graphics programs in c language so for that i hope you people have done that so uh, we will be uh, studying how to do this programming and day by day we will be doing the programs so first i will be uh, making you see i have shared my screen so that uh, you can uh, see that uh, how we will start so first we will go to dev c++ icon on the desktop where uh, the same has been installed and the same icon is available on your desktop also so we will double click on that then we will go to file then we will go to new from there we will go to project now when you click this project you can see that there are a lot of consoles since we need graphics console so i will choose the console graphics application this thing i will choose it okay and by default this is in c++ uh, project form that is okay now i will press okay it is asking for a name and the place where you want to save these uh, programs so give it anything according to your preference where from the later half you can uh, get these programs so i am saving it fine so this is the console which i have uh, which which is there so now i in this console the same way we have studied how to write c program in the same way we will be doing that but whenever we run a computer graphic program two windows are there that is when you run the program two windows will be there one window where you will give all the inputs and the other window according to the inputs the graphics uh, will be shown in the other window that means that uh, in one window Uh, what what happened in c programming there was a one window in that window only that black window only you used to um, uh, give the input and in that window only you used to see the output but in computer graphics what will happen is two windows are there remember we have installed the win bgim that is windows bgim to see the console for graphics since graphics deals with images and drawings and pictures so in one window we will be giving the inputs and in other window we will be seeing the outputs clear okay so one line i am just writing over here okay so this line that is void init graph in star graphics driver there will be a name of the graphics driver i am just written the format that is int graphics driver comma int graphics mode comma character driver directory path bracket close semicolon this is the format now the first step in any graphics program is to initialize the graphics drivers on the computer that is using the init graph method of graphics dot h library earlier in c programs there was conio dot h there were scdio dot h math dot h in addition to that one extra library we will always need to include that is the graphics dot h library okay so what does this sentence do in each and every graphics program you will see this sentence 
in each and every graphics program. Without this line, the graphics program won't run and won't give you the desired output. Now, what does this sentence mean or this line of code means? This line of code, it initializes the graphics system by loading the past graphics driver, then changing the system into graphics mode. It also resets or initializes all graphic settings like color, palette, current position, etc. So to their default values. So the description of this input parameters that is graphics driver, graphics mode, graphics, uh, sorry, driver directive path are graphics driver. So what is graphics driver? It is a pointer to an integer specifying the graphics driver to be used. So it tells the compiler that what graphics driver to use or to automatically detect the driver. In all our programs, we will use detect macro of graphics.h library that will instruct the compiler for auto detection of graphics driver. Okay. The next one is graphics mode. Now, graphics mode, it is a pointer to an integer that specifies the graphics mode to be used. Now, if graphics driver is set to detect, then init graph set graphics mode to the highest resolution available for the detected driver. Okay. Now, to put it very simpler, graphics driver will detect and graphics mode, it will detect the graphics mode. That is, these all inputs will give the result on the graphics mode. Now, what is this driver directory path? Now, it specifies the directory path where graphics driver files or the BGI files are located. Now, if the directory path is not provided, then it will search for the driver files in the current working directory. So, in all our uh, future graphic programs, you will have to change the path of the BGI directory according to where your compiler is installed. And my Dev C++ compiler is installed in the C drive. So, I will change this path. Okay. Now, uh, this line in it graph line, I just made you understand each and every segment. Now, how do I write this init graph? This init graph is written as init graph and gd, comma, gm, comma, Now, this init graph, that is this line, is the basic format. And how I will write in the program? I will write in this format. And what is this format? Same init graph. This uh, GD means the graphics drivers will be detected. So, ampersand GD, that is the address of the graphics driver, it will read. GM means the graphics mode will be detected. So, ampersand GM, the graphics mode address. Then this, I have said the directory path. So, this is the path that is in C drive, in TC file, my BGI files are there. Okay. Now, the format for writing is this only. That is ampersand GD, comma, ampersand GM, comma, within double quotes, the path you will have to specify where the dev C++ is installed. So, this is the line which, so, this is the line which in each and every program you will always have to uh, use in order to make the program run. Okay. Now, uh, when we will start writing a C program. In earlier state, we, what did we do? We said hash include stdio.h, hash include conio.h like this. So, there is hash, then include, then there is graphics.h. 
first line and uh, then you can say the basic c lines that is hash include stdio dot h then hash include conio dot h like this so these three lines are the basic uh, inclusion of the header file so stdio conio you were already studied so the next one is the graphics h uh, header file right okay the next is how do we write c programs the next is we start the main so int main okay then we put the braces now i am writing two lines see it int gd equal to detect comma gm here if you notice you have said int graphics driver that is the graphics driver which you will be using in this sentence it needs to be initialized to int so here i have written graphics driver equal to detect which means it will detect the graphics driver and graphics mode i have initialized both these variables to int okay okay now since i have initialized both the variables gd and gm now i can use this line okay 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 now always remember this section of the code of any program is compulsory that is whatever program you are writing you will have to include this header files you will have to start from main you will have to include these two lines gd equal to detect gm and then init graph that is initialize the graphics uh, programs so these two lines are compulsory for any program you write then what lines are compulsory then there is a get ch which is a compulsory statement then there is a close graph which is a com compulsory statement that is the graph which you have initialized the graph needs to be closed also and this get ch is for the main function so there is a get ch there is a closed graph and since you are using int main so return zero right so if you notice this section this is the form or format for writing any graphics programs now whatever the logic of the program is you need to write in this section whatever be the logic so this is the format which is which needs to be followed for any program and whatever the logic is you write need to write in between okay now this init graph function it auto detects an appropriate graphics driver and it sets the graphics mode maximum possible screen resolution okay so uh, and what does this close graph do as i said we unload the graphics drivers and we set the after initializing the graphics driver this uh, close graph will unload the graphics driver and set the screen back to the text mode by calling the close graph function okay so uh, this was the introductory uh, part of uh, the how to write the computer programs and how to write the graphics program now we will start studying each and every program okay so this is the basic uh, format which we will which will stay in the console so these two lines i am deleting from the console and when we will be studying any uh, thing we will be writing the logic of the code in this section right so let this section stay and we will write the logic of the code always in this section okay